I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank all my students and subscribers for posting excellent questions. This video is for Joseph who wants to understand how to apply synthetic division when the divisor is a trinomial. So I've taken this example. We'll divide 2x to the power of 4 minus 3x cubed minus x squared plus 4x plus 2 by x squared minus x plus 2. As you can clearly see, it's a trinomial quadratic function. Normally, we had been doing synthetic division with only linear factors, right? Now this time we have introduced x squared also. So that means we have an additional layer which goes in parallel while dividing. So we'll modify the process which we had learned earlier a bit to incorporate a trinomial, right? So, so we'll begin with the same concept that is draw a horizontal and vertical line for synthetic division. Write down all the coefficients and in our case the coefficients for this quartic equation are 2 minus 3 minus 1, 4, and 2. Now what should go into divisor? Think like this. If it was a linear function, let's say x plus 2, then minus 2 will go, right? Then you should have written minus 2 here, right? Now we have another term here. So we'll do the sign or conjugate of the coefficient, right? This is plus 2, we wrote minus 2. This is minus 1, so we'll write plus 1. Is it okay? So that is how we will decide on the divisor. Now, earlier you had a line here so that you could bring down the first number right away to the bottom you are dividing by a linear factor. Now, we have two of these on the left side. What will happen when we divide by minus 2? We need a placeholder for that also, right? So we introduce another line here. Let me use a different color to introduce that line. So, so we have another layer here. Correct? So what we do is we bring down the first coefficient to the bottommost as we did earlier for synthetic division and then minus 3 comes here you get it do you see that so that's the first parallel to what we had next step is very logical we'll multiply 2 by both of them right if i multiply by 1 i can definitely write 1 times 2 as 2 we place it here now, if I multiply by minus 2, where should I place that? You got it. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. We'll place it there. Do you see that? So, let's get back to this step. So, when you multiply by the coefficient of x negative coefficient, then you place it there, right? This is what you normally do. And this time we have an additional term to deal with. So when you multiply by this term, you place it over the second line. Do you get it? And this process of placement and the next step, of course, is addition, right? So we have to add. Continues. So minus 3 plus 2, when you add them up, you get minus 1. And then we continue the same process. Multiply minus 1 with both. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Place it here. Correct? And what is minus 2 times minus 1? It is plus 2. Place it on the other side. Is it okay? You place it on the other side. Now, 
We missed one thing here. We added these two. But do we add these guys also? Yes, we do. Why? Well, we do. Because then, how do we have a number here? Correct? So, so we add them, minus 1 and minus 4, and get minus 5. Correct? Now, we have a number to add. Do you see that? So, this line helps while dividing with the trinomial. Minus 5 plus minus 1 is minus 6. So, you get a number there. Correct? So, you adopt the same method of addition in the first layer also. Correct? So, let's get back to this. Bring down the coefficients. The first one below the bottommost line, the second one below the line which we introduced. Now, multiply by your factors, placing the first one in the bottommost, above bottommost line, second one above the introduced line. Add both of them right under the line and then continue this process. Correct? So, what should be my next step? I have to multiply minus 6 with both these terms and write whatever I get in these locations. Do you see that? And what am I going to get now? We started with degree 4, dividing by degree 2, we are expecting coefficients of degree 2, 1 and 0 and now we are getting into finding the remainder. Correct? Okay. So, let's do 1 times minus 6 is minus 6 and minus 2 times minus 6 is plus 12, right? So, minus 2 times minus 6 is plus 12. So, we'll write here, plus 12. Now, we forgot to write here something. What should I do? Well, we have to add these two terms to write here. 4 plus 2 is 6. And when you add 6 with minus 6, you get 0. Do you get it? And what do you get here? When you add 2 to 12, you get 14. So that's the remainder part. Now, we could clearly write down what the quotient is and what the remainder is. Right? So we could write our function as 2x to the power of 4 minus 3x cubed minus x squared plus 4x plus 2 as equal to product of these two which is x squared minus x plus 2 times 2x squared minus x minus 6 plus the remainder 0 is the coefficient for the linear term x right and the constant is 14, so plus 14. So that becomes the statement, the division statement after doing synthetic division of a quadratic equation with a trinomial. I hope you have understood the concept. We will take few more examples. You can make your own and practice. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe and share my videos and post your comments. Thank you and all the best.